We're diving deep into the timeless wisdom of Marcus Aurelius and exploring how Stoicism can help us think more clearly in our everyday lives. In a world full of distractions and noise, finding mental clarity can be a challenge. But the Stoic philosophy, especially the teachings of Marcus Aurelius, offers practical advice that remains incredibly relevant today. Whether you're facing tough decisions, dealing with stress, or just trying to cut through the clutter of modern life, this video will guide you on how to think with greater focus, calm, and purpose. Let's get started. Number 1. Train your perception. Perception shapes our reality. It influences how we interpret the world around us, how we respond to challenges, and ultimately, how we live our lives. Training your perception is about sharpening your mental lens, allowing you to see situations more clearly, make better decisions, and respond more effectively. This lesson will delve into the importance of perception, how it impacts your daily life, and practical ways to train and refine it. Understanding Perception Definition of perception Perception is the process by which we interpret and make sense of sensory information. It's not just about what we see, but how we see it. Subjectivity of perception our perceptions are influenced by our beliefs, experiences, and emotions. Two people can perceive the same situation differently based on their internal filters. The role of the mind. The mind doesn't just receive information passively. It actively constructs our reality. This construction is influenced by our past experiences, biases, and expectations. The power of perception in shaping reality. Perception versus reality. Our perceptions often become our reality. If we perceive a situation as threatening, we react with fear, even if there is no real danger. Perception influences behavior. The way we perceive a challenge can determine whether we approach it with confidence or avoidance. Perception in relationships. How we perceive others can influence our interactions and relationships. Misunderstandings often arise from misaligned perceptions. The impact of negative perception. Cognitive distortions. Negative perceptions are often rooted in cognitive distortions like overgeneralization, catastrophizing, or black and white thinking. Emotional consequences. Negative perceptions can lead to feelings of anxiety, depression, and stress. Limiting beliefs. These perceptions can form limiting beliefs that hold us back from reaching our full potential. Training. Your perception, awareness, and mindfulness. Developing. Awareness. The first step in training your perception is becoming aware of your current perceptions. Pay attention to how you interpret situations and the emotions that arise. Mindfulness practices. Mindfulness helps in observing your thoughts and perceptions without judgment. It allows you to see things as they are, not as you fear or wish them to be. Challenging automatic thoughts. When you notice a negative or distorted perception, challenge it. Ask yourself if there's evidence to support it or if it's just a product of your mind's bias. Reframing perceptions. The art of reframing. Reframing involves looking at a situation from a different perspective. Instead of seeing a challenge as a threat, view it as an opportunity for growth. Cognitive behavioral techniques. Techniques like cognitive restructuring can help in reframing negative thoughts into more positive and realistic ones. Gratitude practice. Gratitude helps shift perception from what's lacking to what's abundant. It trains the mind to focus on the positive aspects of life. Enhancing perceptual flexibility. Adopting a growth mindset. A growth mindset allows for perceptual flexibility. It helps you see failures as learning opportunities rather than as definitive setbacks. Embracing change. Flexibility in perception requires an openness to change. 
This means being willing to adapt your perceptions as new information becomes available. Mental agility exercises. Engage in activities that challenge your thinking patterns, such as puzzles, learning new skills, or exploring new perspectives. The role of Stoicism in perception. Stoic philosophy on perception. Stoicism teaches that it's not events themselves that disturb us, but our judgments about them. By training your perception, you gain control over your emotional responses. Detaching from immediate reactions. Stoicism encourages detachment from immediate emotional reactions, allowing for a more rational and composed perception of events. Focus on what you can control. By focusing on what you can control and accepting what you cannot, you can train your perception to remain calm and centered in the face of adversity. Practical Exercises for Perception Training Daily Reflection Spend a few minutes each day reflecting on how you perceived the events of the day. Consider how different perceptions could have changed your responses. Perspective Taking Practice seeing situations from multiple perspectives. This can be done through role-playing or simply by imagining how others might perceive the same situation. Journaling. Keep a journal where you record your perceptions and thoughts. Over time, review these entries to identify patterns and areas for improvement. Overcoming perceptual biases. Identifying common biases. Recognize biases like confirmation bias, where we seek out information that confirms our pre-existing beliefs, or hindsight bias, where we see events as predictable after they've occurred. Strategies to counteract biases. Deliberately seek out information that challenges your perceptions. Engage in discussions with people who hold different viewpoints. Regular self-assessment. Periodically assess your perceptions and consider how biases might be influencing them. This helps in maintaining a more balanced and accurate view of the world. Long-term benefits of training. Your perception improved decision-making. By refining your perception, you make decisions based on a clearer and more accurate understanding of situations. Enhanced emotional regulation. A trained perception helps in managing emotions more effectively, leading to greater emotional stability and resilience, better relationships. Understanding and adjusting your perceptions can lead to more harmonious and empathetic relationships. Greater life satisfaction. Ultimately, training your perception leads to a more fulfilling and satisfying life as you navigate challenges with clarity and composure. Training your perception is a powerful tool for personal growth and well-being. By consciously shaping how you interpret the world around you, you can transform your experiences, improve your relationships, and achieve greater success in all areas of your life. The journey to mastering your perception begins with awareness, mindfulness, and a commitment to seeing the world through a clearer, more balanced lens. Number 2. Learn to control your emotions. Emotions are powerful forces that shape our thoughts, behaviors, and interactions with the world. They can uplift us to great heights or drag us down into despair. However, when left unchecked, emotions can cloud our judgment, strain relationships, and lead to decisions we may later regret. Learning to control your emotions is not about suppressing them, but rather understanding and managing them in a way that enhances your well-being and success. This lesson will guide you through the process of emotional mastery, offering practical strategies to navigate the complexities of your emotional landscape. Recognize and acknowledge. Your emotions. Awareness is key. The first step in controlling your emotions is to become aware of them. Pay attention to how you feel in different situations. Are you angry, sad or anxious? Understanding your emotional state is crucial for managing it. Name your emotions. 
When you experience a strong emotion, take a moment to label it. This simple act of naming your emotions can help you gain clarity and distance, making it easier to address them constructively. Journal your emotions. Keeping a journal of your feelings can help you track emotional patterns and triggers. Over time, this practice will enhance your self-awareness and emotional intelligence. Understand the root causes identify triggers. Emotions often arise in response to specific triggers, such as certain people, situations or memories. By identifying these triggers, you can begin to understand why you react the way you do. Examine underlying beliefs. Our emotions are often tied to our beliefs and perceptions. Ask yourself why a particular situation provokes a strong emotional response. Are there underlying beliefs or fears driving your emotions? Challenge irrational thoughts. Sometimes our emotions are based on irrational thoughts or assumptions. Learning to challenge and reframe these thoughts can help reduce their emotional impact. Practice emotional regulation techniques, deep breathing. When you feel overwhelmed by emotion, deep breathing can help calm your nervous system and restore balance. Practice taking slow, deep breaths to center yourself in moments of distress. Mindfulness Meditation Mindfulness involves focusing on the present moment without judgment. Regular mindfulness practice can help you become more aware of your emotions and respond to them with greater calmness and clarity. Progressive Muscle Relaxation This technique involves tensing and then relaxing different muscle groups in your body. It can help release physical tension associated with emotional stress. Develop Healthy Coping Mechanisms Exercise Physical activity is a powerful way to manage emotions. Exercise releases endorphins, which are natural mood boosters. Regular exercise can help reduce stress, anxiety and depression. Creative outlets. Engaging in creative activities such as painting, writing or playing music can provide an emotional release and help you process your feelings in a healthy way. Social support. Surrounding yourself with supportive friends and family can help you navigate difficult emotions. Talking to someone you trust can provide comfort and perspective. Cultivate emotional resilience. Accept what you cannot change. Part of emotional control is accepting that some things are beyond your control. By focusing on what you can change and letting go of what you cannot, you can reduce unnecessary emotional turmoil. Practice Gratitude Gratitude is a powerful antidote to negative emotions. Regularly reflecting on the things you are grateful for can shift your focus from what's wrong to what's right in your life. Learn from setbacks Instead of being overwhelmed by failure or setbacks, view them as opportunities for growth. Resilient people use their experiences as stepping stones to become stronger and wiser. Set boundaries. Know your limits. Emotional control also involves knowing your limits and setting boundaries with others. Whether it's at work, in relationships or in social settings, be clear about what you can and cannot tolerate. Communicate assertively. Learning to communicate your needs and boundaries in a clear and respectful manner is essential for emotional well-being. Assertive communication helps prevent misunderstandings and reduces the likelihood of emotional flare-ups. Take time for yourself. Regularly carve out time for self-care and relaxation. This can prevent burnout and help you maintain emotional balance. Practice emotional intelligence. Empathy. Understanding the emotions of others is a key component of emotional intelligence. By putting yourself in someone else's shoes, you can better manage your own emotions in interpersonal interactions. Social skills. 
Developing strong social skills can help you navigate emotional situations more effectively. This includes active listening, clear communication, and conflict resolution. Self-reflection. Regularly reflect on your emotional experiences. Consider how you handle different situations and what you can learn from them. This ongoing self-assessment can help you improve your emotional control over time. Manage stress. Identify sources of stress. Stress is a major contributor to emotional volatility. Identifying the sources of stress in your life is the first step toward managing it effectively. Develop stress reduction strategies. Techniques such as time management, delegation, and relaxation exercises can help you reduce stress. The less stress you carry, the more control you'll have over your emotions. Practice self-compassion. Be kind to yourself, especially during stressful times. Recognize that it's okay to feel overwhelmed occasionally and give yourself the grace to recover and regroup. Stay grounded in your values. Identify your core values. Knowing what you stand for can help you navigate emotional situations with greater clarity. Your values serve as a compass guiding your actions and decisions. Align your actions with your values. When your actions align with your core values, you are more likely to experience emotional harmony. Conversely, acting against your values can lead to inner conflict and emotional distress. Practice integrity. Integrity involves being true to your values even when it's difficult. By practicing integrity, you build emotional strength and resilience making it easier to control your emotions. Seek professional help when needed. Recognize when you need help. There may be times when your emotions feel overwhelming and you struggle to control them. It's important to recognize when it's time to seek help from a mental health professional. Therapy and counseling. Therapy can provide you with tools and strategies to manage your emotions more effectively. A therapist can help you explore the root causes of your emotional challenges and develop a personalized plan for emotional regulation. Support groups. Joining a support group can provide a sense of community and shared understanding. Being surrounded by others who are working on similar emotional challenges can be incredibly validating and empowering. Practice patience and persistence. Understand that change takes time. Emotional control is a skill that takes time to develop. Be patient with yourself as you work through this process. Celebrate small wins. Acknowledge and celebrate your progress no matter how small. Each step forward is a victory on your journey to emotional mastery. Stay committed. Persistence is key to mastering emotional control. There will be setbacks but staying committed to your growth will lead to long-term success. Learning to control your emotions is a journey that requires patience, practice and persistence. By recognizing and understanding your emotions, practicing emotional regulation techniques, developing healthy coping mechanisms and cultivating resilience, you can achieve greater emotional balance and well-being. Remember that emotional control is not about suppressing your feelings, but about managing them in a way that enhances your life and relationships. With time and effort, you can master your emotions and live a more fulfilling, harmonious life. Number three, exercise the dichotomy of control. The concept of the dichotomy of control is a foundational principle in Stoic philosophy. It stems from the teachings of ancient Stoic philosophers like Epictetus, who emphasized the importance of distinguishing between what is within our control and what is not. This principle teaches us that by focusing on what we can control, our thoughts, actions and responses, we can live a more peaceful and fulfilled life, free from unnecessary stress and frustration. The dichotomy of control is not just a philosophical idea, it is a practical tool that can be applied in everyday life.
By understanding and practicing this concept, you can improve your decision-making, emotional resilience, and overall well-being. This lesson will break down the key points of the dichotomy of control and offer practical advice on how to exercise this principle in your daily life. Understanding what you can control. Internal versus external. Distinguish between internal factors, thoughts, beliefs and actions, and external factors, other people's actions, opinions and events. Focus on actions. Concentrate on what you can do rather than what others might do. Your actions and responses are within your control, whereas outcomes are not always guaranteed. Control your thoughts. Learn to control your mind, as it is the most powerful tool you have. Thoughts influence emotions, decisions and actions. Letting go of what you cannot control. Accept uncertainty. Understand that many aspects of life are unpredictable and beyond your control. Acceptance is key to inner peace. Avoid worry. Worrying about things you cannot control is futile and counterproductive. Instead, focus on positive actions you can take. Release attachments. Let go of attachment to outcomes, recognition, and other external validations. By doing so, you free yourself from unnecessary stress. Practical application of the dichotomy of control. Daily reflection. Incorporate daily reflection to assess situations where you can apply the dichotomy of control. Journaling is an effective method to reinforce this practice. Mindfulness practice. Engage in mindfulness exercises to stay present and aware of what you can control in any given moment. Decision making. Use the dichotomy of control as a guide in decision making. Focus on what is within your power to influence the situation. Benefits of exercising the dichotomy of control increased resilience. By focusing on what you can control, you become more resilient to setbacks and challenges. Emotional stability. You gain emotional stability by not allowing external factors to dictate your emotions. Improved relationships. When you stop trying to control others, relationships improve. You can focus on being your best self rather than changing others. Overcoming common challenges. Dealing with uncertainty. Strategies for coping with the anxiety that comes from uncertainty. Managing expectations. How to manage your expectations and avoid disappointment by focusing on your efforts rather than outcomes. Building patience. Patience is essential when practicing the dichotomy of control. Learn techniques to cultivate patience over time. Examples of the dichotomy of control in action. Historical examples. Stories from Stoic philosophers like Epictetus, Marcus Aurelius and Seneca that illustrate the dichotomy of control. Modern examples. Contemporary scenarios where individuals successfully applied the dichotomy of control to overcome challenges. Personal reflection. Encourage learners to reflect on their own lives and identify situations where they could have applied or can apply the dichotomy of control. The dichotomy of control in different areas of life. Work and career. How to apply the dichotomy of control to professional life, focusing on effort and learning rather than outcomes and recognition. Personal relationships. Understanding that you cannot control others' actions or feelings, only your own responses. Health and wellness. Accepting that while you can influence your health through lifestyle choices, some aspects are beyond your control. Long-term practice and growth consistency is key. The importance of consistently practicing the dichotomy of control for long-term benefits. Growth mindset. Adopting a mindset that sees challenges as opportunities for growth rather than obstacles. Continual learning. Encouraging lifelong learning and reflection to deepen your understanding of the dichotomy of control. 
Common misconceptions about the dichotomy of control. It's not about passivity. Clarifying that the dichotomy of control is not about being passive, but rather about focusing your energy on what truly matters. Not ignoring emotions, understanding that the dichotomy of control doesn't mean suppressing emotions, but managing them in a healthy way. Balancing control and letting go. Finding the balance between taking control of your actions and letting go of outcomes. Conclusion. Embracing the dichotomy of control. Summarize key points. Reinforce the importance of distinguishing between what you can and cannot control. Encouragement for practice. Encourage continuous practice and reflection to make the dichotomy of control a natural part of your life. Final thoughts. Emphasize that exercising the dichotomy of control leads to a more peaceful, purposeful and resilient life. By mastering the dichotomy of control, you empower yourself to live more intentionally, reduce stress and find greater satisfaction in life. This principle is not only a cornerstone of Stoic philosophy, but also a timeless guide to personal growth and well-being. Number four, keep virtues in mind. Virtue, a concept deeply rooted in philosophical traditions, refers to moral excellence and righteousness. It is about developing and embodying qualities that contribute to a well-lived life, both for oneself and others. In Stoicism, virtues are the foundation of a good life and are viewed as the only true goods. To live virtuously means to live in accordance with nature, reason, and the principles that lead to a flourishing life. Keeping virtues in mind is about maintaining a constant awareness of these moral principles in every action, decision, and thought. This practice is not just about understanding what is right, but about actively choosing to live by these values, making them the guiding force in our daily lives. By keeping virtues in mind, we cultivate a life of purpose, integrity, and harmony with others and the world around us. Understanding Virtue The foundation of ethical living Definition and importance Virtue represents moral excellence and is central to ethical living. It involves developing qualities such as wisdom, courage, justice and temperance which guide our actions and decisions. Philosophical Roots The concept of virtue is emphasized in various philosophical traditions, including Stoicism, where it is seen as the only true good. Living virtuously is equated with living in harmony with nature and reason. Relevance Today in a modern context, virtues help us navigate the complexities of life with integrity, ensuring that our actions align with our moral principles. The four cardinal virtues wisdom, phrenesis, the ability to discern the right course of action in any situation. Wisdom guides our decisions and helps us distinguish between what is good, bad or indifferent. Courage, Andrea, the capacity to face challenges, fears and adversity with resilience and determination. Courage enables us to uphold our values even in the face of difficulties. Justice, dikaiosine, the commitment to fairness, equality and the common good. Justice involves treating others with respect and ensuring that our actions contribute to the welfare of all. Temperance, sofrosine, the practice of self-control, moderation and balance. Temperance helps us avoid excesses and maintain a healthy, disciplined approach to life. The role of virtue in daily life. Guiding decisions. Virtues act as a moral compass, guiding our decisions and actions. By keeping virtues in mind, we ensure that our choices reflect our values and contribute to our personal growth and the well-being of others. Building Character Consistently practicing virtues helps in building a strong, resilient character. It shapes our identity and how we are perceived by others, fostering trust, respect and admiration. Enhancing Relationships 
virtuous behavior strengthens relationships by promoting honesty, empathy, and mutual respect. It lays the foundation for healthy, supportive interactions with others. Challenges in Maintaining Virtues External Pressures in a world driven by materialism, competition and instant gratification, staying true to one's virtues can be challenging. It requires constant vigilance and a commitment to prioritizing long-term values over short-term gains. Internal conflicts, personal desires, fears and emotions can sometimes conflict with our virtuous principles. Overcoming these internal challenges requires self-awareness, discipline, and a deep understanding of the importance of virtues. Cultural and social influences, cultural norms and societal expectations can sometimes conflict with virtuous living. It is essential to critically evaluate these influences and make choices that align with our moral values. Strategies for keeping virtues in mind mindfulness and reflection. Regular reflection on our actions and decisions helps us stay aligned with our virtues. Mindfulness practices can enhance our awareness of how well we are living according to our values. Journaling. Keeping a journal to track our thoughts, actions and the challenges we face in maintaining virtues can be a powerful tool for personal growth. It allows us to identify areas for improvement and celebrate our successes. Surrounding yourself with virtuous individuals. The company we keep has a significant impact on our behavior. Surrounding ourselves with people who share and practice similar virtues can inspire and support us in our journey. Setting Virtue-Based Goals Setting goals that are rooted in virtue helps ensure that our efforts are directed towards personal and moral development. These goals should be specific, measurable and aligned with our core values. The Benefits of Living Virtuously Personal fulfillment, living in accordance with virtues, brings a deep sense of fulfillment and satisfaction. It aligns our actions with our true self and purpose, leading to a more meaningful and contented life. Inner Peace Virtuous living fosters inner peace by reducing internal conflicts and moral dilemmas. When our actions are in harmony with our values, we experience less stress and anxiety. Positive Impact on Society by keeping virtues in mind, we contribute to a more just and compassionate society. Our actions set an example for others and promote a culture of integrity and ethical behavior. 7. Case Studies and Examples Historical Figures Discuss examples of historical figures who exemplified virtuous living, such as Socrates, Marcus Aurelius, or Mahatma Gandhi. Analyze how their commitment to virtues shaped their lives and legacies. Modern-day applications provide examples of how virtues can be applied in contemporary settings such as the workplace, family life, or community service. Highlight stories of individuals or organizations that have achieved success through virtuous practices. Integrating virtues into personal development plans. Self-assessment. Begin by assessing your current alignment with the four cardinal virtues. Identify areas where you excel and areas where improvement is needed. Actionable steps. Develop a plan with specific actionable steps to enhance your practice of each virtue. This might include setting daily intentions, practicing gratitude or engaging in community service. Accountability and support. Establish a system of accountability, such as a mentor, coach, or peer group, to help you stay committed to your virtue-based goals. Regular check-ins can provide encouragement and guidance. Overcoming obstacles in virtuous living. Dealing with setbacks. Understand that setbacks are a natural part of the journey towards virtuous living. Instead of being discouraged, use them as opportunities for learning and growth. Resilience and perseverance. 
Cultivate resilience and perseverance by reminding yourself of the long-term benefits of virtuous living. Stay committed to your values, even when the path is difficult. Continuous learning. Virtuous living is a lifelong journey. Continuously seek to learn and grow, adapting your approach as you gain new insights and experiences. Conclusion. The lifelong pursuit of virtue. The journey continues. Keeping virtues in mind is not a one-time effort, but a continuous process of growth and self-improvement. It requires dedication, reflection, and a commitment to living in harmony with one's highest values. The Ripple Effect By living virtuously, you not only improve your own life, but also influence those around you. Your actions set a positive example, inspiring others to pursue their own journey towards moral excellence. A Legacy of Virtue Ultimately, the legacy you leave behind is not just in your accomplishments, but in the virtues you embodied and the positive impact you had on others. By keeping virtues in mind, you contribute to a better world for future generations. This comprehensive lesson on keeping virtues in mind provides a roadmap for understanding, practicing and integrating virtues into daily life. By staying committed to these principles, you can lead a life of purpose, integrity and fulfillment, leaving a lasting impact on both yourself and the world around you. In the fast-paced world we live in, clear thinking is more important than ever. Marcus Aurelius, through his Stoic philosophy, offers us timeless wisdom to achieve this clarity. By focusing on what we can control, accepting what we cannot, and consistently aligning our actions with virtue, we can navigate life's challenges with a calm and focused mind. Remember, clear thinking isn't about eliminating all emotions or avoiding challenges. It's about embracing them with a rational and balanced perspective. As Marcus Aurelius teaches, you have power over your mind, not outside events. Realize this, and you will find strength. So take these stoic principles to heart, practice them daily, and you'll find yourself thinking more clearly, making better decisions, and living a more fulfilling life. Thanks for watching. And don't forget to subscribe for more insights on living a stoic life.